Hello everybody and welcome back to another day of Dying Light. I haven't played for quite a while, at least this game anyway, and uh, so I'm really sorry about that. I just went through a few hard things. Uh, it just, it doesn't seem to get easier for me for some reason, but unfortunately my uncle, who was also my godfather, passed away last week suddenly and uh, it was just such a shock to us all. He was only 52 years old, you know, unexpected and we just, you know, it was a big, big blow. Um, and it just had to really sink in so I just really didn't feel like playing anything and commenting and being cheerful and you guys I'm sure wouldn't want to see me really down and you know like it's not fun so anyway um, now I'm feeling a bit better so I'm trying to get back into finishing the games that I haven't finished yet and Dying Light being one of them and it's a game that I have so enjoyed um, let's try and get this guy over the over the edge <laughs> All right, and he's gone. Um, yeah, it's a game, uh, initially, I really didn't expect that I might like it. I kind of went in with an open mind like I do with all games, and uh, I've always been really pleasantly surprised um, by this game. It's just, I look forward to playing it again and again, but I must say, I haven't, um, because I haven't played it for a while, I, <laughs> I don't actually, um, I, I don't have that intuitive feel of just smoothly playing now so I just have to get back into it but anyway um, that should come back within a few minutes and one other thing that I have noticed is that since the last mission after we lost Jade um, I seem to have lost all of my accessories and everything in my inventory so aside the couple of items and weapons that I picked up whilst I was fighting um, Rice's guys so ah, beat this zombie up okay I don't know why I just I don't like these women zombies not all of them just these crazy ones that are just constantly yelling and screaming I mean I guess it adds to the whole uh, feel of it but yeah anyway um, I wanted to oh there you guys are. oh ankle biter ankle biter ah! get off get off there we go I was like, what's the finisher move again? <laughs> oh, it's funny, another ankle biter here. There we go, that's better. So this is meant to be a safe house, or what can become a safe house. So I just need to, nope, this doesn't want to open. Okay, I guess I need to slide it across. Okay, that's new. Um, so I want to liberate this safe house and um, make it my own. Hopefully, what else do I need to do? There must be one of those switchy things. Nope, that's not it. Don't, no, that is it. Is that all? Is that it? Oh, there's another zombie there. Oh no! <laughs> Damn! It was the explosive gut one. Damn it! I really, really didn't expect that. Gee. Um, anyway, <laughs> it is my favorite zombie in the game though, I must say. I just, I really enjoyed it. I am using a new microphone now. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference or not, but I did an unboxing video of it today. And also I unboxed um, my mail um, and I I was speechless. I was shocked. I, 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 I'm still really shocked. <laughs> um, but I guess you guys will have to see and to the person that sent it to me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I, I was... <laughs> I was like so speechless. If you pass the fan zone, please check what's happening there. Uh, what do you mean? You'll hear it for yourself. Someone's calling for help. There are women and children there. Women and children in the fan zone? Or I'm going to accept this. Um, I'm just running around trying to pick up new items and things that I can use because I don't even have enough to um, get a medical kit together. So, um, yeah, I, again, about the packages that came in, I was like, wow. Hey, Crane. Nice to see you again. Uh, nice to see you in good shape, Michael. Hey, stay out of trouble, all right? Well, all I can do is try. All right, nothing there? Okay. Um, I'm going to run across and try and find this fan zone. And, of course, I do have to meet Troy at some stage. So if that comes up on the way, I will meet her too. And he's just swiveling around, looking around. You've got nothing to do. Oh well. <laughs> Here's the oh, there's Troy. What's up, Troy? So, what do I have to do? You need to install it at the highest place possible. That way, we'll have the best chance to break through. Uh huh. Okay, so let me guess. I need to head out to that giant antenna tower at the edge of town. The fastest way is through the sewers. Mm -hmm. Savvy will guide you over the radio. 
so contact him when you get to the other side. And Crane, when you install the amp, make sure to set the correct frequency on your radio. Pull this off, and the entire world will hear you. Let's hope so. See you, Troy. All right. That sounds pretty good. Um, a zip line. Which way should I zip line? <laughs> Try and get closer to one of the ways. There we go. I think that I think I picked the right direction. I hope so. Anyway. <laughs> okay. So I'm not too far away from where I need to be by the looks of it. And this place looks really sweet in terms of picking things up. And how do you like? How do you like my weapon? I love it. Look at it. Sometimes. There we go. <laughs> Just slash them in half. Where was this weapon all along? Ah, oh, I need stuff like this. Um, anyway, so now I just wanted to do a couple of upgrades to other weapons, but I can't because I don't have enough items. I don't even know if I have a lockpick. Yeah, I don't have any lockpicks. I haven't been able to pick any up on the way. Ah, so I'm still running around and I don't want to bore you with it. Just me running around looking for lockpicks so I can get, you know, more items and things like that. But now it is the middle of the night. I don't know if I should be running around. I mean, I guess it is good to get the um, the points and all that. But, oh, uh, look how good is this weapon? How good is it? Just chop and the whole head's gone. Nice. For one swift move. And even if you do it through the midsection, mid section, it's just all gone. Awesome. Um... <laughs> that works too. No arm, no head. How do you feel about that? Huh? Huh? Zombie? Ah, oh, this is fun. I honestly never thought I'd have so much fun with zombies. Speaking of zombies and disease and all that kind of stuff. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, but a long time ago. <laughs> well, a long time ago. A few months ago. I picked up the game um, The Last of Us. And uh, it's still here. It's still here sitting next to me. And it's still sealed and all that. And... I'm thinking once I finish playing Dying Light because I don't want to start yet another game and and you know not finish it or anything like that. So once I finish Dying Light, I want to get back to playing The Last of Us Remastered um, because I've never played it before. I haven't actually watched any reviews, anything whatsoever. I kind of wanted to go in with a clear, um, clear you know uh, perspective. And really not uh, have any preconceived ideas about the game. But I did hear that it's good. And I've had so many people recommend it to me. So I will do that too. And um, and yeah, I've still got uh, the Order 1886 to finish. I, <laughs> I, uh, I will finish it. I definitely will. There was that guy. Medicine food. Sounds like he's in a lot of distress and there must be a lot of people there but I don't know I mean this place must be riddled with zombies everywhere like absolutely everywhere what do we have here can I get through this door no I have to use the lift but the looks of it all right let's get get into the elevator there's kids I hope they're not like zombie kids oh, interesting I hope they're not like zombie kids you know there's freaky ones that are crying and Ugh, don't like those. I just want to kill them all. <laughs> don't I sound like a nice woman? Kill the kids. Kill them. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's just a game and it's just zombies. So I don't care. Whoa. Uh, hang on, but these are not zombies. They are. Yeah, they are. I don't know. They kind of look... Mm, they look a bit different. Some of them not, but some of them... Where are they? Where is everybody? Aren't they hiding here? Okay, the ammo. Pistol ammo. Oh, what is this? Some kind of key? Key card? Why? What? I don't get it. Do I not have any empty slots? No? Okay, let's put something in my backpack. So that I can... So that I can pick this. Yeah, I don't think I need this crowbar anyway. Okay, let's uh, pick up the pistol. And I'm going to go ahead. I've got all my ammo and everything, but looks of it. Okay, what's here? Okay, I'm preparing for like a major, major zombie explosion in this place. I, I hope it's not, you know, like, I hope that there aren't too many. Uh, since I'm just getting back into playing this game again. What's in here? I always feel like, you know, something's going to pop out. I don't know why. It's just that that scare factor and and I don't know why it's just just the thought of it freaks me out 
Well, I'm definitely looking for all your electronics and equipment. <laughs> but uh, where are you guys hiding? I don't know where, where all these people are meant to be. If your situation is so dire, I mean, as you'd be looking out on who's coming in and whatnot. Anyway, I've got the key card now, so maybe I can have better access to the places and I guess yeah I've got everything I thought there was a key card here I could have sworn that there was but it's not there anymore it's a bit strange anyway um what do we have here med kit yes I definitely need one of those and a coffee would be good although I haven't I've got something to say actually about coffee I haven't had coffee for about a month now I just thought I need a break from the coffee because I think I was just relying on it a little bit too much to um to just you know keep me awake and all that although I didn't think it did but I just feel better not drinking so much of it I guess so um, although I do miss it you know I wouldn't mind having one a day or something but I thought no I'm going to do a detox and that's what I'm doing now actually I'm doing the detox and I'm not drinking coffee just uh, you know uh, eating really good nutritious food fruits vegetables what's this so obviously the guy has recorded his voice on the laptop to anyone who can hear this. Okay, let's turn off the computer. It's getting a bit annoying because. To anyone who can hear this. Oh. Your situation is dire. I've killed women and children. What? Here. What? I can offer you death in exchange for your medicine, food, and drinking water. Is that right? Come to me. Ah, I see. So this was a trap all along. Happening. I'm in the fan zone. This place is a trap. Yep. Keep people the hell out of here. Understood. Now take your own advice and get out of there. Damn. I think I'm gonna have to deal with this one, Troy. Crane out. <laughs> All right. Ah, so you wish to challenge me? Excellent. Take the elevator, and it will bring you straight to me. Is that right? Well, it sounds like we're gonna have a lot of fun once I get up to there. Oh, he's still talking. Is quickly deteriorating. How many people are there? Is it just one person? I can't hear anything. He's not holding everybody hostage and then he's just gonna blow every everyone up, is he? I think I've been watching too much TV. Too many news. <laughs> oh, damn. What? No, he stopped the lift. I'm stuck. Is he gonna come down here and kill me? How? What's going on? What's with all the smoke? Whoa. What's going on? Did <gasps> Is he killing all these people? Uh oh. Can I get out of here? Let me out. Let me out. I was left behind by cowards. But I've survived. By awakening my natural predatory abilities. Right. Good to know that Here you're a predator. I am ruler. Here I am king. Here you will die. Why are you against me? I thought we were all against the zombies. Come on. To anyone who can hear this, you're almost mine. How accommodating of you to bring yourself to me. I barely have to get out of my chair. Do I how how is he surviving? How's he getting all the food and everything? What is he eating? Zombie meat? I don't think so. Oh. He knows where I am. He knows exactly where I am. Yes, yes, fate awaits your fate. Not like you're going to kill me. Okay. I was thinking like, am I really going to go down where the gas is? Where am I? Whoa! Oh, I'm back in the same spot. What? Did I do something wrong or is this meant to be like this? No, it looks like I'm in the right place. Somebody was shooting at me. He must be right around there. Ah, there you are. There you are. Reload. I'm ready for you, buddy. Come on, poke your head out. That's it. Oh, you got a strong head there. Either a strong head or my aim was bad. <laughs> Troy, it's Crane. You alright? Yeah, some psycho has been luring people into the fan zone and hunting them. Must be 15 or 20 bodies down here. Is he dead? And dead as I can make him. Crane out. You know what? I was right, actually. I thought, these guys don't look like zombies. Like, the faces still look quite natural, like a human being. Whereas the zombies are always kind of mongulated a bit. So he was actually luring people in there and killing them. I can't believe it. I thought we were all fighting against the zombies. What's wrong with you? 
Jay! Alright, anyway, that was a pretty cool side mission. I like that. Um, hopefully I'll be able to do more. I just, you know, I tend to just do whatever is on the way. And if this was on the way, I'll do that. And if Troy's on the way, I'll do that. And So anyway, um, this is fun. This is definitely fun. And I was wondering, I mean, I kept on running around this throughout the whole game, you know, um, and you could hear him broadcasting that message. And, uh, but I never thought that that's actually what was going to happen. No way. I thought the whole place was going to be infested by zombies and it just, it, you never know what to expect in this game, which is pretty cool. I like that. Um, I noticed when I started the game off, there's like a new DLC that came out. Uh, so I might try that out a little bit later as well. But, uh, am I out of this place now? What's going on? I thought I was out out of the lift. No, okay. There we go. Just got paid for this. Awesome. Broadcast. Use uh, sewer tunnels to reach the radio. Okay, that sounds like a lot of fun. And I'll do that next time. Anyway, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, I'm sorry that it took me a while to come back, but I'm back. And uh, hopefully you're looking forward to more videos. I'm definitely looking forward to making more for you guys. And uh, I hope that you guys have a great day. Day, afternoon or evening wherever you are and I'll talk to you next time. Bye for now.